Hello everyone. Today we will see how to create payslip automatically and sending them to appropriate staffs using email automation. So this is the Excel file Macrainable workbook, payslip email automation. I will open this. Okay, you can see this is the month for the November 2023. Uh, here you have to, you can type the month and year. This is in uh, text format. So we are going to send the payslips for the month of November 2023. So November 2023, that is from this A1 cell. Using this command button, we can send all the payslips uh, via email. We are going to attach the payslips in the email body. We will see the next sheet that is pay table. Here you can see uh, number orders, EPF number, name, date of joining, designation department, email ID and here in this column email status uh, once we send the email to the staffs each cell will be filled by uh, text uh, sent after that if we click this email command button it will not send so to avoid the duplicated emails sending to staffs this will be filled so for the next month if you want to send we have to remove those texts from this column column H then here you can see earnings uh, five categories uh, five categories and deductions in five categories there for each staff uh, the face lips will be generated one by one and email will be sent automatically to each staff this is the face lip template i created you can see face lip company name address and date of joining here one by one it will be printed from this pay table sheet using loop uh, the pay period for the month that is from this cell i1 cell here we will type the month and year also finally when before we send the email here also we will type the month and year so here we can confirm month and year here and here are same so we have to confirm the month for the facility creation so work days we have to put a column here you can put a column after the R column in the S column, number of days working by this particular stuff for the month. So you can put here. If you don't want that option, you can leave that. At the moment, I didn't put a column for the num number of working days for the particular stuff. You can put that if you want. Employee name, EPF number, designation department. That will come from the pay table for each staff one by one. So here are the earnings and detections from this pay table table Excel sheet from here. The total net pay will be here. That is here. That is in the letters using the spell number function. That is in the module you can find. So this is a system generated basically. I will check this sheet to pay table sheet. This would be empty. If that is empty only emails will be sent to the staffs and paste ellipsis here okay i will click the email button there's a confirmation message are you sure you want to send the paste ellipsis? if i click no it will not send then if it is confirmed i can click yes button you can see it is getting prepared all e emails are displayed if i want to send directly i can command the display option in the VBA code and command the send then it will send directly at the moment it is displayed so finally there will be a message box successfully sent uh, you can confirm that then I will click OK after that you can see in the pay table sheet everything filled by this text sent so you can confirm that each email are sent I will minimize everything now here this is the first email I will maximize this you can see for the particular staff subject payslip for the number 2023 staff name and the EPF number that is in the subjects dear staff name you can see email address in the subject the names are same please find the payslip for the month of November 2023 also the payslip is in the email body you can see pay select for that staff insource number finance executive finance 
join date and pay period November 2023. Then earnings this side, right side deductions total 89,000. Here also total 89,000. Best regards, human resource, whatever you can put. We will see the next one. This is another staff. This is for another one, another one. So there was seven staff. So we can send this after displaying this also. If you if we want, we can send directly as well. Each different pay slips for each different staff. Now I will open the Excel file. Now we can clear this. Better clear this in the next month when we send the next month pay slips to the staff we can clear this and uh, then we will keep them we don't want to send the uh, duplicated emails to the staffs so we will keep them until the next month if you want to send to the particular this staff you can type send so you can type that so when you click this button accept this particular stuff other to the other stuffs the emails will be generated and it will send now i will quote the bb editor through the developer menu we can go to uh, the visual basics shortcut is alt f11 there's a module spell number function here is the more spell number function this is creating the total amount in letters here this is the payslip module this is the IP slip sub procedure you can see and this is another function to get the range pay slip range into the email body. First uh, we are declaring the object output as object, the item as object, then we are setting them setting the output application and the email item, and then we are declaring variable I row and last row, last row from the column b so there's the if numbers declaring seed one two three each three seeds are declared here then each three seeds we are setting pay table seed sh1 pay slip email and sh2 and three so uh, that is from the seed one that is pay table so here you can see seed one pay table seed one pay table seed range v10 dot and xlab dot row so number of rows used from this column b so 11th row is used this will be equal uh, so under the owner I resume next you can see bottom owner of go to zero is here so when there is error it will end there is a message box i show you want to send the pay slips if we click no that subprocess will be exit I slip sub pressure will be exit. We click yes only, the all emails will be generated. Using follow for I row is equal to 5 to last row. I row is equal to 5 because the first staff detail is starting from the fifth row. So this will be the last row. From 5 to last row. After starting four statement, you immediately put the next I row. So between that you can write everything. First of all, the if statement if seed burn range h from this z the column h this is the column h if this is empty only these things we are going to do so if this filled by something this will not work so if that is empty this is if this is empty only each one will be created each base is created and email will be automated these are the things from the seat one i1 that is this date you can see the date that is in text format number 2023 because if it is general that will be converted to the different format b that will come to the c2 in the c7 cell here this is the c7 here it will come the ipf number likewise every details will come from c1 to c2 from from c1 uh, for the first staff from this seat, from the pay slip seat, here it will come using these things, these lines. After that, uh, from B to E column will be auto fit applied. From here to here, auto fit applied. After that, not only we are going to create the email. We are setting the E item, so empty email will be opened. 
within the e item so with statement started immediately end the with statement then within them we can write the callings we declared two variables string one and two here you can see as string so string one for the email body so we will write the html code within double quotes uh, body style uh, first of all font size 12 font family uh, calibre close the double quotes then and percent you can see then what we are going to do there that is within double quotes there then what is staff name first staff name will come here that is from the c column you can see c column the seed one here okay then and person then within double quotes we next in the next paragraph so dear viduran then in the next paragraph please find the basically for the month of that is from c3 a1 c3 that is this seat that is a1 so definitely you have to correct this month as well this one and this i1 has to be same so when you click the send button you have to confirm that one then in there's another string variable we are sending best regards the br so in the next line cannot resource so between that the pslip will go into paste that dot two seed one from the g column you can see there's the email addresses one by one it will create a two if you want to you can type permanent email address that will be cc to each staffs if you want different different cc email address you can create a column at the last then to each staff different email address for cc and bc if that is a constant email address within this double course you can write the email address then subject face lip hold on from the c3a1 that is this date November 2023 20, the date the pay period then I sign within our course then I sign will be there so then from the C burn C that is name B that is EPF number C column name B column EPF number then the body dot HTML body because this is going to put the HTML body so dot HTML body string one that is this one and person then here and person is string two here and person dot html body we had put so between the string one and string two we are going to copy the range of this face lip we are going to copy this range from a1 to f26 we are going to copy and we are going to paste it in the email body for that there is a function range to HTML, then the range will be within the brackets. The range to HTML function, you can see, there is a that is the function. Then dot display. Because of this, each image in the display mode. If we uncomment this, then if we comment out, then it will send directly. So at the moment we will uncomment this, we will comment out this. So it will be displayed. If we want to send directly each emails without displaying, we can send. Then finally, from the seed one in the H column, this text will be printed here in this column. So after that, if we click the email button again, it will not send. That's why this is here. So closing the with statement on our go to zero. So we have to close the if statement as well as here, this statement, this if statement. Okay, then closing the next statement. After sending all emails, message box successfully sent. Finally, we have to set the e item and Outlook application to nothing. So this is auto-generated payslip and the email automation system together. You can download this Excel file. I will put the excel file download link in the description you can download this thank you for watching